Hello everyone, my name is Nathaniel Ruiz. I just graduated from New Bern High School in June. I went to all New Bern schools my whole life. Um, currently, I'm going to be attending Central Connecticut State University, majoring in infant and toddler mental health. Hi, I'm Malachi Edwards. Um, I'm a graduating senior uh, this past June. Uh, I plan on going to CCSU for elementary education. Um, I've been to New Bern schools my whole life, starting at Gaffney. Uh, went to Jefferson for a year. Shout out to my Jefferson Jets. Um, and Slade to here at uh, New Britain High. New Britain schools uh, d diversified my whole life. Uh, walking in, seeing uh, people that look like me, familiar faces, uh, just people that live in your neighborhood. Just really having that hands-on connection to everybody just really threw me into the community and made me feel welcome. So, so I went to New Britain schools my whole life. I started off at Lincoln. I went to Gaffney in second grade. Met my best friend, and from after Gaffney, shout out to Miss Fazio. I know she still works there, but Miss Marino for sure. She she guided me from elementary, and then it carried on to middle school where I became a Slade Stallion. I think eighth grade year she came, and like it was like lit up there's like she lit up the room when she walked in is like all those memories that i had from elementary i started with mr uh so mr mcdougall a special shout out to mr mcdougall i had him my sixth grade year uh i think he was the first teacher to make me cry that without calling my mom um he moved my friend to a different class and i was really emotional about it but i, I think it really helped me get out of my comfort zone i i talked to that one friend only so it really made me help me uh talk to the rest of the class and help me evolve so much. Um, and I had the honor of presenting this uh, Teacher of the Year to him this year. So it was just a full 360, um, letting him know that like he really helped me become where I'm at today. But one person I want to shout out from Slade is definitely Mr. Lozewski, my first male teacher. And having an example like him, having a role model like him, look, gave me the passion to want to help kids as well and just his mentorship, his all his storytelling, like it was just amazing to be in his classroom. I call Coach, Coach Bodie. Uh, sometimes people misunderstand your, your toughness and your, your mindset, but you you motivate so many young men, uh, young boys to become men, uh, just being, focusing on the grind and, you know, getting after what what is the most important, you know, education and, and sports. With Miss Miano, obviously, um, she definitely uh, gave me the truth. Sometimes the truth hurts or the truth puts you off balance a little bit, but the truth really uh, helps you recognize yourself and uh, understand yourself more. Um, being, uh, she talked to me, she reached out. She was like, you know, Malachi, you're, a little, you're moving a little lackluster. You know, it's, it's a thing that's consistent in high school. People are not always giving their full effort. So, you know, being able to recognize that that she's telling the truth that, you know what, my guy, you could, you could really be doing more. The amount of respect that she has for me just to uh, let me know that in a, in a nice way and, you know, help me improve just. The way we've grown, um, coming through, there's always a stigma on the brand. There's always the bad stuff being shown. But, um, like none of the good stuff is promoted. We had a, a bunch of ECE credits. Uh, so many kids enrolled into ECE classes, which has never been this amount before in previous years, just showing that the confidence in students are going up, which the teachers are just doing an amazing job of, you know, giving them the curriculum, having them be able to recognize that they're capable of doing it and really putting their efforts towards it. So. Miss Darnella, like she made sure that I understood that I was never wrong. I could always improve, but I was never wrong. If this is the idea I want to go with, yes, we could go with it. But she's gonna help me give me the tools to make it even better. So with her guidance, that helped me become a better public speaker. And then with Miss Marquez giving me the opportunities to compete at the state level, at the building level, but also nationally, that really helped me showcase and uh, gain uh, gain confidence in public speaking. Some of the stuff could have been harder. Like, you know, teachers go out their way to make different lesson plans and make different assignments. And sometimes when teachers see, all the teachers, they care so much for their students, they want to see their students succeed. So sometimes when they realize that students aren't 
doing a two-page paper, they'll go down to a one-page paper. And the students who are thriving, it becomes easier for them. So definitely, you know, keeping the foot on the gas and just keeping that support system so students can catch up and uh, be advanced in academics. We need to be introduced to being, you know, at, at the top of that um, that that mile. You know, we're ranked like 164 in in our schools. Just you know, seeing that we have to introduce the norms that they have into our schools. All right, six page paper as freshmen is coming in. That should be a norm coming in. So it changes the mentality of what students think is hard and what's not. Oh yeah, six page paper, yeah, I did that when I was a freshman. Now you want me to write a 12, that makes sense. And in progressions, you know, not staying stagnant. I think what was so big for me in the school was the ECE classes and all the co free college credits that we have to offer. Taking those classes, getting on-campus experiences really helped me gain confidence to be prepared for college. So definitely, I feel like I'm prepared for college. Miss Marquez obviously making everything realistic. Uh, teaching my sophomore year got really scary because I was like, how many years of college? I didn't know, I wasn't really confident about college at that point, but um, hearing everything, how it sounds, how it really is, how, how capable I am, just making everything sound in reach um, really helped me. Just to be able to give back to a place, you know, that's not given enough appreciation. Um, there's amazing people that come out of here just to give back to those kids, uh, to be an active representation of what they can be and what it is to be a product of New Britain. So definitely. Oh, definitely. I definitely want to get back to um, teaching, in New Br teaching in New Britain, um, just being able to give back to where I come from. I take so much pride in New Britain High and New Britain schools. When I was a kid coming to the football games, all I hear is Golden Hurricane. Like. I to me, I just wanted to be a Golden Hurricane so bad. So definitely coming back for sure. But I definitely want to start coaching uh, in New Britain as well. So that's something I look forward to. Being, not being comfortable where we're at, um, it's kind of accepted a little bit because, you know, it takes, it takes a, a, a colony. You know, it's, it's just not one person. It's not in one teacher's hands. You know, it starts from kindergarten and on the way up. So just not being comfortable where we're at, always trying to improve. Uh, consistent consistent uh, reminders just to see where we're at. Like, hey, we're here, we improved from yesterday, but what are we gonna do to improve today? Like, consistent improvement. You know, we stand out for a lot of bad things we do, but a lot of people don't see the good things that we do in the school. But that's something that definitely needs to change in our, in our school. We have so much to offer. I would just say, remember what you're doing it for. Uh, when you become an educator, it's it's a certain type of love that you have in your heart for kids and just the growth of them. So um, remember what you're doing your job for. If you feel that love leaving, um, try to find what, what made you fall in love with it in the beginning. Um, and I hope that there's more support, staff support, um, calling on other teachers because that we're we're a group that doesn't have a lot of support so just leaning on each other being able to support each other and uh, just becoming better as a group keep investing your time into these students you don't understand how much they need you and at the same time you don't know what goes on at home so when they're in school sometimes it's just that relief just being away from home and you're with them eight hours of the day you're their mother you're their father at school so your support and your guidance really or mentorship really helps them uh, be successful in school and also in life. Like you were saying how Mr. Fable shows up for these kids, some people don't have father figures, so him showing up may be simple to him, but to other people it might mean the world. So things like that, showing up for students, connecting with them, like just being interested and investing in their life, students really take that into consideration, like wow, like they, somebody really cares about me, somebody really loves me. Teachers don't maybe not understand now, but definitely it has a big impact on their lives.